Um, so Kolo, let me ask you. After Bazukizo, which became a hit, Ilishinde Magrova Awards, Kila Kitu, but bigger that it just impacted the dance culture within the gospel industry and beyond. You get? After that, you did another song. What is what 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 was the next song? After Bazo Kizo, as I was even a going, video. Yes. Yeah. Uh, after transitioning to that, I worked on Chijue with Scooby, the lazy rapper, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, Addison is the one who produced that. Chijue uh, was the name of yes, the song. Yes. Yeah. Sembe too. Sikwa mlo tu, sikwa hela tu, sikwa mali tu, ati wanaume ni kumjua Yesu. Jijue! Ha ha ha! kuyumba yumba! Bobobos kama kalabina, bando tuko on toes kama balarina. Kikikisa koka utaza me ujuzi, kesho pia sinzi kututa lamba kama mchuzi. Sikwa sembe tu, sikwa mlo tu, sikwa hela tu, sikwa mali tu. Wanaume ni kumjua Yesu. Nice, nice. Mm. Uh, who shot the video? Uh, Nezo. Nezo Mons. And it was Nezo, Nezo Mons. Hey, boss, it's a new industry. Uh, Nezo, Nezo ndo ali come through for your video. Ali do a great job na tuliwak pamoja na the ladies from our church. So, in the video, the women of every generation are represented. From 0 to 6, 7 to 12, 13 to... 20, 20 to, to 60. Mm, nice. And it was interesting because each one of them got to learn how to rap. Oh, yes. So it was therapeutic. Mm -hmm. The video shoot was therapeutic. It was fun. It was hard work, but we had a great time. Uh, Kidosho came through, did the wardrobe for the ladies. Uh, Jane from Rapunzel did the makeup and the hair for the ladies. And it's just ladies. The only dudes in that video are two, me and Scooby. Nice, nice. So the girls were telling us, Mwanaume ni kumjua Yesu. Nice. Mm -hmm. But the thing now that I, when I met you last, I was telling you, Kolo Bana, nime, nime skeze ngomo lakini, Baaaz, Buddha! Uh -huh. Baaaz! Uh -huh. And then you've come through. Mm -hmm. This latest single. I mean, I don't know if you've dropped songs in between that, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but I just want to talk about now this, this new single that you've just dropped. Even video. The latest one. So, Get this because you came. Out. In fact, yeah. you mentioned about jazz, mm. and, I, and, and yeah. I was like, yeah, "Yeah." So check this out. You know, and going back to school also. So. Yep. So by the time I was doing Jijue, Bazokizo is a celebration of salvation. Uh huh. Uh huh. We are celebrating. We are saved. But then, what next after you are saved? Do you know who you are? Mm. Do you know what that meaning of that salvation is? You find your identity in salvation. Mm. So Jijue was explaining that, even the lyrics, because if you look at how the song is structured, there's no place I mention Jesus in my verse. Because mm. I wanted to actually do a song that I don't have to mention Jesus, because gospel. So here comes a young guy called Scooby who tells me, yo man, I want to work with you. I'm telling Scooby, yo man, after Bazookizo, I just don't feel like doing any more collabs. <laughs> Again, because it was overwhelming. Mm -hmm. You know, working with many people around you is not easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get. So, um, he sent me a message. It was a very convincing message. He says, 
when a tree has good fruit and you take and you see someone taking a stone trying to hit it's because he wants part of that fruit so he convinced me to do the collabo we did the song i i loved it because he came up with the idea of the chorus and nice. the instrumental addison did it we went to othole Oh, you went to Othole? Yes, we recorded it at Othole Studios, Ndani Yumba. Yeah. yeah, man. So, Jijue, Jijue, I love Jijue. It's one of my favorite tracks after Salvation. And then after that, in the process of Kujijua, Nili Rudichuo. Nika joined Kabarak, School of Music and Performing Arts. I started with my certificate and uh, God saw me through it. I graduated. And now I'm almost done with my diploma. And then the end of too. Hopefully I'll keep on going because I would like to pursue other things also. St still within education. So so what happened now with with the, okay, the, coming to the latest singers? Yeah. So it's been a two-year music hiatus before I released Conqueror. Yes, Conqueror. And uh, Conqueror comes, uh, it's inspired by Romans 8, 37. Know that in all these things, we are more than conquerors. And the beat was done by K the Great from Burundi. And I met him through a Kelele session. Uh, Brian Smalls mm. normally hosts uh, something at uh, uh, Village Creative. It's called the Kelele session. And I met K the Great there when I was invited as a you know, guest uh, critique. And uh, we planned to do a, a session with him. And when I went to the studio, hey, this guy, Maze, he played me beats. <laughs> Bro, I had beats. Paga, if there's anyone who's ever been worried about beats, worry not. K the Great, <laughs> K the Great got you, man. So he, he played me, he sampled some beats. He, it was actually very interesting, Jui. Ilini fungo akili. Na <coughs> I'd recorded music even after Bazo Kizo. Yeah. But the songs I recorded were not for that season. Mm. So I took two years, was quiet for two years. After Kabarak. This conversation of wellness took over. Wellness. Apart from being spiritually lit, there were other pillars that had to be addressed. You know? There's the issue of mental health. There's physical health. And there's also financial discipline. So I met also a guy called uh, Dr. Maina Azimio from Azimio. Azima Wellness and Venture. He's a venture capitalist. So mm. we, we sparked the conversation about wellness, you know? And um, in the process of doing that, how do we conquer these challenges within your spirituality, within your physical health, within your financial? How do you conquer mountains? And that's how Conqueror came in. And Conqueror, you know, it's no chorus, bars I from the beginning. It don't need a when. chorus. Maze, I need chorus. So, Ilikuwa, an icebreaker. I worked with, uh, I recorded it at uh, Village Creative with uh, Sean Peavers. Uh, he mastered and mixed the track. K the Great did the beats. Then, towards, this was, this was last year, yeah? It was mid last year. Towards the end of last year is when I put out this track. And um, towards the last quarter of 2019, I sparked the conversation of music and wellness. Mm, because, you know... In fact, I met you at that. That's, that's where you're going for that. Uh, at the opposite state house, the event. Yes. So, you know, we, 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 we said, let's, let's keep this conversation of wellness going because wellness covers those four pillars. Uh, and if you look at, for instance, our national anthem, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's uh, last, 
the last line of the first verse it says raha tupate na ustawi ustawi ni nini ustawi ni wellness kwa hivyo raha happiness you get it through wellness and if your well-being is in consideration there is hope where there is hope there is faith and who do we have hope in christ why it's a mindset christ is not according to uh, robert jenkins christ is not a surname it's a mindset mm. you know it's how it's, he thought his mentality was that of faith meaning he was ready to die for us that's not a normal thing you don't take that for granted and for me conqueror was the perfect track to come back and keep the status of my testimony going so we spoke in december we were talking about mental health i remember october october 26th we had a festival called cradle arts festival that was organized by headspace 254 which is led by jason brackner and also mental 360 So it was a gig where creatives came together from all walks of life in Nairobi. We were about 65 of us and we got to express ourselves and our takes on mental health. And when I was asked, "What's your take on mental health?" I gave a quote that was inspired by Prophetess Nekesa Wasike, who's also a psychologist. Salvation for the soul begins with a renewal of the mind. Mm. So Conqueror was that track and uh, you know into January is when now I was pushing the track itself. So I've pushed it uh, January, February, March, then all of a sudden came COVID. No, but you dropped the video before that. Yes. So I had just done my VJ VJ1. Yes, VJ1 did the video. Shout out to VJ1 and Tman and Milton for that video. Yes. Sonic boom. Bonsina, born again winner. Kabazuka na lipuka cast strife. Sinamela ila vina ni na jina. Take a look it's in the book of life. Africa's first double or seven. Karibu Kenya kwetu 047. Hapa kazi tu 247. Still alive ka 365. Ha. Nani process? Yes. Ndio maana ni na proceed. Yeah. Instead of counting losses, hesabu zangu squeeze wa ku so seeds. Mm. Cheza true so that. Mira go baby you live a pasta there. Niko rizo kapedi na bia mskas kas pep. Full blast power puff pass the clan your black cook clack. Ndugu ni ndugu, tatusi hii na boo. Kama ujasikia lovers lie. Kuku ni kuku. Jogo jina tu. Caterpillar be a butterfly pride envy wrath gluttony lust sloth greed devil you lie a muizi murderer trying to destroy i freeze we at the mountain top yeah i had to leave the valley of the shadow of death so that the crowd can stop now nah. never lose your soul confusing money for wealth look even i fell out but did i sell out Bar for bar I've held it down from way back bill and may back she play back to call life for the payback na pepe akapawa sini zibe na ganji na mese akadhau sini ngize na rangi tembea kastau sizidiwe na dhambi kemea katau sidisiviwe na bangi and if you see that video the end frame of that video tells it all i'm facing the crown of the king of kings we talked about dethroning mm. there's a there's a hymn called and can it be which is also called amazing love the last verse ends with the line and claim the crown through christ my own so conqueror is looking who are you who has given you the victory So when it ends I say revelation jubilation now I know why they call me rival it's restoration and reformation for the springboard of revival springboard of revival is the prophetic purpose of the nation of Kenya what does springboard of revival mean it means we are a hope nation 
we're a light to the world. So if you've never found your purpose to date, align yourself to the purpose of your nation. You will not go wrong. I feel like dropping the mic that Nashika. <laughs> okay, let me ask you, Kolo. Yes, sir. Oh, I, in fact, I was telling you right now when we we're walking to this new location. Mm. Um, for me, this interview, this is the beginning of the next chapter. Yep. You get what I mean? Yes. In fact, the reason why I'm not dwelling too much on it is because we've just started writing it. You've just started writing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, from, the, from the day that you you sort of gave your life to Christ. Yes. Eh? And this, and we'll maybe may meet 10, 20 years later, or we'll never know whenever it is. Yes. Uh, and then have the conversation mm. starting today. Mm. But to give us an idea, what's what's your parting shot? What would you say as your parting shot? I just wanted guys okay. to understand mm. Mm. the transformation that you have gone through in your life. Okay. And also the, the, the part that you've played in building the music industry that mm. we are mm. a part of. Mm. So, you know, in conclusion, the three tracks that I recorded between 2017 and 2018. It's the tracks that I'm, I've just shared. Yeah. Just before COVID, I went to Ghetto Radio and I said, I'm going to put these tracks exclusively out only on Ghetto Radio and MOOC. There's a reason why Ghetto Radio is where a majority of the ghettos watch and listen. I would rather have them have the music for free because these other stations are not complying to appreciating the artists, you know? So if you don't know how to appreciate me, I would rather look for people who do. And so I decided to work with Ghetto Radio exclusively um, and also MOOC. Yeah, in fact, I bought your track for MOOC. Amen, thank you, man. And the reason to why I say this is because even those systems, the, the, the culture that we have had needs to go back to being a moral culture where if a musician puts out their work, subscribe to a place where they can be tipped. You know what I mean? Yep. Because Revenue there's a production team behind that. It's not free. You know what I mean? Even Jesus was bought at a price. You know? So... Let's groom this culture of appreciating who we are and the people around us. And so um, there's a song called Nivu Milie that I worked on with Pitson. Pitson gifted me this chorus and told me, Kolo, take this chorus, do the verses for rap, but I'm inviting you into salvation. It's not going to be easy, but you'll do it. So he gave me the chorus. It's called Nivu Milie. That's one of the tracks that I've just recently released. Okay. It's available on MOOC and also on Ghetto Radio. Radio. And then we have another song called Dance for Jesus. Uh, by the way, Nibebe was produced by Ogopa DJs. Oh. Yes. And uh, there's a guy called Mozart. Was it Lu Lucas? Lucas? Lucas, yes. Lucas worked on it and he did a good job. Uh, Mozart trained me how to perform it, the song and then Pitson wrote it. So that's Nivu Milie. And then Dance for Jesus was um, inspired by Addison, the producer. And uh, a guy called uh, Genre helped me pen down the music for Dance for Jesus. Uh, Dance for Jesus is dance. It's seven, it, it has a hint of rumba, you can feel some Lingala in it, nice. but the bars, bro, the bars, bars. never <laughs> fail, man. Bars. Bars. <laughs> so, so there's bars in that, and then there's Nibebe. So in total, I have six tracks that I've worked on and I've put out. Since Salvation. Since Salvation. So six is a very divine number for me during this time. And uh, I know that in these six songs, they will tell you a story from Bazokizo to Jijue. After Jijue conqueror, then came Nibebe, Dance for Jesus and Nivumilie. Which leads me to, there's a project that I'm working on. I'm now working on an album. Yeah! Yes, I'm working on my album and it's going to be my first gospel album. 
these six tracks, I'll call them more of an EP. Yep. You know? Um, and it's, it's a status of my testimony. So if you look at Kolo today, if you look at Collins, Mike Majale, and you ask yourself, what drives you? What inspires you? What's your motive? I'll say, there's nothing beautiful like the mind of Christ. Hey, Kolo. Thank you so much for that amazing interview. Guys, get the music. Uh, the links have been scrolling as we've been talking. So get the music, support the art. Not even support the artist, just buy it because it's good. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Anyway, Kolo, thank you so much for this. Thank you for having me, man. It's, it, it's, it's, it's been a to long happen, time coming. It's way over. And it's man. so divine even how this happened. That's another <laughs> yeah. story one day I'll tell mm. guys. Yes. But it's a pleasure and I'm just glad that we're able to, to do this. Man, thank you for your time. Also, let me say thank you for your input into the industry. People like me, as much as you're not considering yourself a veteran, I, I, as much as guys say I'm a veteran within the gospel music industry, I listened to you guys. I had a reference Kenyan-wise of who to do. You know, I'll come back to you and I'll say, you're rapping, you're doing gospel rap before many people thought of it. You've laid a brick and a foundation. Now, scale it up. That's because I hear what you're saying. hip hop <laughs> is the most consumed genre of no. music globally. Yep. And we are yet to enter and scope into local hip hop. Yep. Now, when you think of, I'll go back to what I told you Kenya's hip hop is the realest hip hop in Africa. Uko Flani Mau Mau were talking about the struggle. But what's the struggle? Yeah, I get it. What's the real struggle? What's the real struggle? Now, I want us to keep that conversation going through bars. Bars. I get it. Hey, Merakwadi, <laughs> one day I'll have to come in. One day I'll have to come in hit this Did thing. You? Through yeah. bar, bro. Wase wa cheku. Melody ni poa. Melody atukatai. Melody ni tamu. Lakini. Mistari. <laughs> uh, Why are people scared of rapping? People rap and people listen to rap music. Listen to rap music. So I hit that stuff button. Cheers! <laughs>